This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Today, Cincinnati citizens got their first chance to share their thoughts about how the city will spend the nearly $300 million in federal COVID relief funding. City Council hosted the meeting after some council members say news conferences hosted by the mayor confused people and left them out of the process. Folks will have another chance to weigh in at the next public meeting next Monday, 1 o'clock. A body found today in the Great Miami River has been identified as a woman from Middletown. 72-year-old Deborah Riley was first reported missing Saturday night. And we're still working to find out how Riley got into the river. Four months after the deadly collapse at the former Killen plant in Adams County, the company behind the demolition work faces about $15,000 in fines. OSHA leveled the fines against Adamo Demolition Company for two violations related to the collapse, which led to the death of two Adamo workers. Cincinnati Children's is testing the Pfizer vaccine in children between the ages of 5 and 12 and 2 to 5 years old. Dr. Robert Frank says, Things are going so well, he would not be surprised if the FDA clears the Pfizer shot for children 12 and up by the end of the month. He also says kids older than five might be eligible by August or September. Dr. Frank says their data shows Pfizer's efficacy rate in children and adults are nearly the same. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Hi, Steve. Yeah, hi, Tanya. As we look at things for tonight, it's going to be quiet around here. We'll see some partly cloudy skies. Temperature is very seasonal, and we're going to be in the middle 40s. Seasonal is the key word for us, not just again for tomorrow on our Tuesday. We are going to see some clouds in the middle of the day, and it'll turn almost mostly cloudy. But overall, a partly cloudy day in its entirety. Temperatures will continue to stay in about the middle 60s, with a slight chance of a shower going into Wednesday. You'll notice I take it down a little bit Thursday because of some cooler air in the morning and frankly it's going to be a dry seasonal nine days ahead. The next best chance for any rain looks to be on Sunday night when that weather system will make it cooler than average for next week.